<laughs> Don't side eye me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Okay, we are. Well, no, we're not. Millie, Millie is here with me. Yes, I am. Yep, because <laughs> she's making me. <laughs> Where do we start? We start here. So Taylor Swift is finally making her way to Australia with her The Eras Tour. And we can't possibly get tickets no, because we, we cannot, can't afford them. We and we also survive the Great War. Yep, there's, not, there's never going to happen. Anyway, so after we cried into our tea for a little while. Mm, salty tea. Delicious. Our favourite. <laughs> so tasty. Millie demanded that I make her a Lego Taylor Swift mini I doll. Did. She did. She's, I did. She's very demanding like that. Mm. So we're going to work our way through the outfits. Millie decided first up. Speak now ball gown because yes. I love a ball gown. She chose this particular one because not only is it super duper pretty, but Millie, the details. She announced Speak Now Taylor's version on the same night she wore this dress. It's so pretty though too. Yes. It is the prettiest of them, I think. They're all pretty. May... No, they're all pretty. Okay. They're all pretty. So I've made a background, uh, which is my version of the stage, like my idea of the stage for this particular part of the set. Um, for the set. The set for the set. Oh, now I'm getting really confused. And Millie wants me to make an entire stage, which is never going to happen. I do. Have... <laughs> it will. No way. It's never going to happen um, unless she nags me a lot. Which I will. She, she does. She really does. I do. Yeah. Okay. So, but this is the stage for now. For now. <laughs> so, but to make the mini doll, to make Taylor Swift, which is obviously the most important part here. Yes. This is the base that I've decided to use. So, pipe down for a minute because it's important. Mm. <laughs> it is. So, for the skirt... This is this is the skirt from the Fairy Godmother from the Sleeping Beauty sets. One of Mia's old tops because it's got the right shape. Uh, yeah, the right kind of bodice shape. So it's always good if you're going to paint it, you've got something you can follow. And for her head, this is an old Stephanie head because it's got blue eyes and I've put some winged eyeliner on with some black paint. You can do it with a black paint pen then just fix it up with your fingernail or with a toothpick. And hair. Hair is a real you sticking point. You kind of need it. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does need hair, but choices are a bit slim. So Stephanie's hair, which is... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> are you going to gag the whole way yes. through this? Stephanie's hair, which I have never liked, would have worked the best, like theoretically, because it's got a you know straight, it's got a fringe, it's blonde, but it's so horrible <laughs> that it just can't. So bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm... yeah, deal with it. No, it's but... wrong. Okay, <laughs> but we have other. Stop gagging. <laughs> We've got this hair, which is actually Lego Hermione hair in blonde. The fringe is good for this. I like the fringe. Yeah. But the long part is a little bit curly and a little bit too like not sleek enough. So it would do, but mm. shush, it would do. <laughs> But Aurora's hair would also be okay because once again it's got the fringe, a little bit of motion in the fringe, which I like. Um, I don't really the curl, curls like down at the bottom, which is wrong. So, but once again, it would do okay. Uh, what else do we have? It's a bit slim on the ground for this hairstyle with a fringe. This hair is one that's very sleek and quiffed and really nice, but it doesn't have a fringe at all. So it's nice. It would do, but would it now? <laughs> Did I mention that Millie's very demanding? So she made me make some. I did. So, yeah. So I got my old Fimo polymer clay out. I use Fimo because it has a lower baking point than other polymer clays, which means that I don't melt the Lego. I have never melted a Lego head yet. So it's still time, but not this time. So here's what I came up with. Worked very hard and I really, really like how it ended up. Millie? Yes, it looks much better. <laughs> She's very proud of me. She was so proud when she saw it the first time. Always proud. So, always proud, baby. Okay, then. Okay, stop. Okay, we stop. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm so, so proud of this. This is my second go at her hair. The first time I used translucent yellow accidentally, and it was really wrong. But, anyway, it's always better the second time through, anyway. And I painted on her red lipstick after everything was baked. Right, next up, the torso. Yep, needs work. Of course it needs work. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even started. At least, yeah. <laughs> at least just here for quality control yes so okay so I actually made the V of the neckline a little bit deeper on my painted version and this is what we ended up with it's really it looks pretty. really good it's much really... better than the original well the original's just oh, the original's just the idea Melly. <laughs> you're really not helpful I didn't know what it looked like at the back when I did this and I now actually know what it looks like at the back so I can fix it up because it basically mirrors the front so I can just add more uh so let's have a look at how that looks with the head which I'm very proud of just I need to be so delicate with this head. Millie thinks she's going to be displaying this in her room when it's all. Oh, I will be <laughs> when it's all finished, but I don't know about that. She has to sleep. You have to sleep at some stage. Okay, so to actually make the glitter on her bodice, I used this, which I actually bought years ago for um, watercolor, I think. But it's yeah. not. I, I tried using glitter and glue 
uh, as the sparkles over the top and it just the glue just dulls the glitter so this was perfect this actually goes on look I'll draw on, I should have paper I'll draw on my finger mm. <laughs> so sanitary and now this is going to get everywhere here Millie let me come here so oh no thank you <laughs> but look it's, it just gives you a little bit of a sparkle and you can layer it up so it was just so perfect I was lucky I have all of this stuff from crafting right uh, for the skirt for the skirt. Yes, skirt time now. Yeah, okay, all right. So these are actually air dry clays, which I just got for really cheaply at Kmart here in Australia. I haven't used light, like air drying clay since pop it like years ago Ooh. and it used to puff up yeah. so I, I I've experimented with this I've actually made three versions of this skirt beforehand <laughs> but it comes with the, the whole set comes with all of this so there's so much here to practice with so I'm gonna just show you today what I did to make the skirt and it's a pretty basic idea but it takes a little bit of fine tuning just to get the balance right for the three different layers at three different heights and the colors because we want to ombre the colors as they go up and eventually the top layer has to be the same shade of purple as her bodice. Yeah. So yeah, first layer is the darkest and it's gonna be the biggest one. And the air dry clay, this air dry clay was actually really forgiving because it doesn't show up fingerprints. And when it dries, it kind of dries a little bit fluffy looking, which is good with the skirt because the actual skirt looks yeah, it looks tuley and airy. Yeah, very light. Yeah, and net, like the net overlay. And the, yeah. yeah. Last time I did a tiered skirt, I used polymer clay. It was really heavy and it was hard to kind of get it to shape. This, this works really, really well. So this is the bottom layer. I've put them between two pieces of baking paper to actually squish it down because it makes it easier to get it off. It doesn't stick to the stuff then. And then I just want to stick a hole in the middle and it really doesn't matter because you'll see in a minute <laughs> how neatly we do this. Doesn't it? It doesn't. It won't matter. You'll see. You'll see. You didn't see any of this process because you were just merrily enjoying scrolling, oh. scrolling through Instagram. Oh, thank in, you. In your room. In while, my holidays. Yeah, in your holidays while I was doing all the work. But uh, this was, it was really fun. So now if I just put these little stripes in, these are going to make the pleats or the falls, the folds of the skirt as they go down. And once again, really forgiving. You can use a toothpick for this. I've probably made this bottom layer a little bit thick for camera. I should probably have made it a little bit thinner, but hopefully it'll turn out all right. And I'll show you the final version that I came up with my pre, this is when I made before. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute once we've gone through the whole process of how to do this. It's really simple. If you saw when I made the ballet tutus years and years and years ago, yeah. it's the same thing, but just smaller and then with layers. So when we stick this over the form underneath, doesn't matter what color it's going to be because you're not going to see it, but it gives you the shape. So you just kind of see how I made a hole in the middle. Now that mm. hole's a lot bigger oh. and so messy, but, mm, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting another layer on top. So thank this, goodness. It's forgiving. It's really forgiving. Even though we've got this weird looking crease over here, it, it's cool because it's not like just this big oval floof. It's it's got, it's organic. It's got yeah. movement. It's got movement, Millie. Let's do. Does it? It's like groovy, man. Oh, My... never speak again. <laughs> like way out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... What are we doing now? We're mixing. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are mixing. <laughs> together to try just like half <laughs> to see the color return oh, I can't just give me a second okay <laughs> like we got a little bit of time here while we're mixing speeding this up a bit oh. while I can while I really fast. Yeah, I've got shh shut it down <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is supposed to be just a little bit shorter than the than the previous layer and a little bit lighter so we're getting incrementally lighter as we go along exactly the same process as before I actually want this to be a little bit lighter again so we're adding a bit more white there's just a bit of fiddling like you just have to muck about yeah, with you it just like eyeball it yeah eyeball it says the girl who wasn't actually involved in the <laughs> <laughs> at all. I was there emotionally you were there about you were because I knew that you'd make me go back and do it again yes, if, yes you <laughs> would you didn't like it exactly I was there <laughs> I was there in spirit. It. Yeah. Okay, so we squish it down. Uh, so this is still the second layer. We're doing well. And then poke a hole in the Stab middle. It. Yeah. Okay, calm down. <laughs> so we poke a hole in the middle. That's a good, good, yeah. Good size. Yeah, it's good size. Do you remember the first? I'll show them the first one I made. Oh, I do remember. Yeah, yeah. It's I'll hard show... to forget. No, it was, it's practice. you got to practice. Mm -hmm. And you learn something from every single time you, you do it. You obviously did learn. <laughs> yeah, I did. Also, sass me less or I'm keeping this in my room. Okay, so this is the next level. No, next layer. 
it's also a level, but it's a layer. And see how it didn't really matter how what that bottom layer looked like, because now this one's over it, layering oh, over there it. There you go. Yeah, see, pretty, 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 pretty. It's so pretty and soft, and even looks kind of velvety. It I really does. like it. Yeah, I really like yeah. this air dry clay. So for the top layer, we're gonna make it significantly lighter. I've already got some pre-mixed ones here from the previous times so I did it, but I'll mix mix it up again just for funsies. Wee. <laughs> It's not light enough. So we're doing more mixing. Is everyone still with us here? Let's hope so. I feel like Millie and I have just, we're a little bit, little bit, lost it a little bit Lost now. it a little just bit. gone. Done it. Okay, so this is the last layer. Speedy. Now I just need to make sure Speedy's the only way. You have no <laughs> idea how many hours this actually took in I reality. Do. You do. You did I told a lot you. of complaining. I did, but it was true. But I enjoyed it. I loved it. Oh, I good. loved it. I love the end result. And Good. I do enjoy a challenge, so that's yes. but yeah, that's cool. This was very fun because I do love a ball gown. And it's Taylor Swift. Obviously. So there's no way that this wasn't gonna be fun. So this is the top level. This put the top level. It's the top layer. We've got it. We're putting all of our little creases in, putting a few more in the top because it's the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's more creased. creased. So you're just <laughs> <laughs> I should be here more often, I, don't you think? Oh gosh, I look to you for help. And, uh, oh, you were just, I, you were so much help. Anyway, so we put the top on, just pressing down around the torso a bit so that it doesn't puff up around too much. Though her actual dress does a little bit up, so it's really nice. So this is what we've got on the end. I'm like, even yeah, though I've that done, looks good. yeah, even though I've done this on camera and it's a lot harder to do any of this really miniature tiny stuff on camera, it's actually worked out quite well. So here we go. Now we have to wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna pull this out of here and then if I have this little bit left over put it at the same thickness as the rest then I can use that as my test to find out when the rest is dry by oh, touching smart. that so here we go we came back I am I am smart thinking really okay continue so this is our dried bit our dried up dress so now's probably a good time to look at some of the failures because oh, you got to bring them in <laughs> okay so this is the first <laughs> Stop it, stop gagging at me. I used this one to practice what the colours were going to look like, what glitter was going to look like over oh, the top wow. of it. But yeah, it wasn't very oh. balanced. Billy, I was learning. Yes, you were. You're going to sass me? So this is the oh, next This that is the next one. Better. Yeah, this one's actually quite nice. And I used, I, I like the bigger sequin dots in it, but Millie didn't, mm -hmm. so we they weren't doing that again. They weren't what we're looking for. So let's just paint this one on with the, the wink of glitter. Stella, the glitter, and you can see how it just gives this really pretty shimmer. Yeah, it just, just enough. It's so dainty and delicate. With If you're actually putting glitter on, it doesn't... Yeah, it's big and chunky. Yeah, it was really chunky, and the glue itself, like, dulled the glitter too, so it just didn't work. But I was glad, it was lucky I had the fails to practice on. Yeah. So nothing's wasted. Nothing nothing's is. ever wasted. I'm just going to do the front of this, and I'll do the rest later on, but just to show you what it looks like when you put just one layer on and then I, I lay it a bit more like did a double layer down the bottom so it was just a bit more intense and have it a little bit lighter going up into the top. Yeah, real nice and easy. Yeah, so this is going to be my backup one. I actually really like this. It turned out really nicely. It does. But we're going to take that one away for now and have a look at my one that I pre prepared. Pre -pre 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 Oh, yeah, oh, you're good listen, there. I've lost it. Pre-prepared earlier. I can't actually remember which way was the front or the back and I don't know that it matters, but it will no. once we pop it on. But this is what it looks like on the inside. So what it looks on the outside. You probably don't even need the... Yeah, you do need the base because I need to attach the torso to something. What on earth? Oh, what thinking? are you talking about? <laughs> I had lost it for a moment there. I'm trying to figure out which way should be the front. That one looks like the front. Well, let's start there. I mean, I can always turn it around. It's, oh, really? Yeah, it's not hard. Really? It's not hard, Millie. So if we swap this over, pop ah. her torso on. This is so... It's like the Voila. moment of magic. Now, this is not the first time Millie has seen this, but I I promise I still you. love it. Yeah, I promise you that she was properly appreciative. I was appreciative. amazed. Yeah, properly appreciative of my efforts. I'm going to turn this around because I think this is, yeah, that's yeah, the that front. Yeah, that looks better. It does because it touches the ground a bit more. Look at how easy it was turning it around. I know. I told you. Lego's so versatile. But we're not done yet. She needs her koi guitar. Yes. Yeah, so throw to my little Swifty to... Talk about the koi guitar. Yeah, so she's brought that back um, from the Speak Now tour. So I made it. See, did you, you see? Did, did you did see, see that the was magic? A pretty pretty uh, uh, it was nifty. It was transition. a nifty swifty transition. <laughs> I'm so I am actually incredibly proud. If you've been around for a while, you know that painting is not my forte. So to mm. have done something so small. 
I have been around. Would you stop this? This is for you, you ungrateful oh, I child. I love it. You're so good. Uh, Thank you. Tell me I'm talented. You're talented. I love you, Mum. Can I have it now? <laughs> And soon. So, so proud of my koi guitar. Well, so ah, Taylor's so koi guitar. Time. Millie also said, though, she showed me the whole box of all of the different microphones. Yes, so I have all the different eras. Yeah, so I've painted one to go with this particular era for this outfit. So, because she has to hold it or it has to go in a guitar stand, the minute you paint something, it just peels off when you clip it into Lego. So, I've covered it with UV resin in the hope that it'll just give it a little bit more durability. Hey, that's a word. I um, like it. That's dictionary. Dictionary. You are a little walking dictionary. Yeah. Shucks. A little sassy dictionary. Nope. Okay, okay, I'll stop. So let's have a look and see how that goes. So into the claw. I mean, it's fine when we put it in. How does it look? Yeah, there's a little bit of a... It, Not yeah. as bad as it could yeah. be. Look, it would have just completely ripped the paint up otherwise. So this way, because I've coated it with something really strong, I should be able to hold it in her hand too. So you, you'll be able to set up all the scenes, Millie. It's like it'll oh be la like la. you were really there. Exactly. <gasps> But not. But really there. I heard that, but not. <laughs> so I let, heard it. Let's put her on the stage that will always be her stage. Just showing you how I put this together, we did a little mosaicing on the bottom. And for the back, it's just one of those ones with the holes in it with the Technic pins on. So you can actually just then push a plate on it. So you can change the backdrop however you want with little... Yeah. Exactly. Just be creative. Yeah. I was so proud of my creativity. I'm so proud of, I, I'm actually really proud of the whole thing. This was above and beyond what I thought my skills were <laughs> capable of achieving. So thank you, Millie, for pushing me. Yes. <laughs> I just pushed you to greater success. You did. To higher levels of achievement. Exactly. But look how gorgeous that is. It looks amazing. Hey, that sounded a little bit sarcastic. Take the teenage Just a out. Just teeny bit. <laughs> Just, it's beautiful though, right? It is very it beautiful. It is really lovely. I'm really, really thrilled. It, Millie's not getting this, but she doesn't know oh, that. But sh sh I'm sh sorry. Sh shut it down. I'm here no, and shut I've it heard down. that. You can't hear it. But tell me what outfit or well, like what era are we doing next, Millie? Well, I think, I personally think that you should do the lover era next with the very iconic bodysuit. But what does a mini doll look like in a bodysuit, Millie? Ooh, that's a, that's a you <gasps> challenge. <laughs> you probably <laughs> were going to say you stopped yeah. yourself. Very proud. And you should also do the lover house because it's iconic too. But it's a really big build, Millie. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. So, right. So the lover era. Yes, lover era. Okay, Next. all right. Okay, good luck. Yeah, it may or may not happen. You're going to need to mm. subscribe. Shh. Shut it down. You're going to need to subscribe. You should see her face right now. Subscribe. Yes, you should. Notification bell on. Leave me a comment. Also good ideas. Let me know what you think of the video. And I'll be back with or without Millie. <laughs> I will always be here. Yeah, you won't. For, <laughs> for more videos in the future. Okay, so I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.